to talk about how to perform a skin scrape and then also how to read one. Um, can anyone tell me the two types of mites we find with skin scraping? Demodex and, and sarcoptic. Sarcoptic mange escapes, yes. Which one is contagious? Only one of them is. Sarcoptic mange. Correct. And they're both mange, technically, like demodectic mange and sarcoptic mange. Mange, I guess, just means like. But um, scabies is super itchy. Like, if I'm in a skin appointment, I sometimes ask the owner to rate their itchiness on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being, like, nonstop itching, and they're always, like, 10 itchy when they have scabies. Demodex a lot of times causes some local hair loss, but not necessarily itchy. It's also not contagious, and it is a normal thing that lives on their skin, but only over proliferates when they're stressed or immunocompromised. Um, so we're gonna play with some fruit. So the way you would set up, or I guess do a skin scraping, and this really, there's much more complicated things that we do as technicians, like drawing blood from a cap jugular or a cysto is way harder than doing a skin scrape. So there's no reason why we can't be doing this rather than the doctor. So if you feel comfortable with what you've learned or, or already do them, you can always ask the doctor, hey, can I do that? So they can go do doctorly things because it's not so difficult. So the supplies you need are a 10 blade. The rounded one is um, a little easier to scrape on a pet that may have like not flat surface that you're scraping, like a contoured belly or something, a slide, mineral oil, um, and that's it. So first you wanna get a slide and put a drop of mineral oil on it so it's ready to go. And then the kiwi seems like a better choice because it's hairy and a little bit more like skin. So you definitely don't wanna slice. We're gonna kind of in with perpendicular to the body, you're gonna just gently scrape and you want to scrape until they bleed because that's the depth at which the mites live so you have to scrape 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 and you'll start to see that actually i see nothing on that blade Ooh. um but you'll start to see some of the um the skin and hair come on your blade and you'll want to kind of rub it in the mineral oil scrape it along the side and get your sample in the mineral oil like that and that's it and you really want to see blood a little bit of blood on your slides then you know that you've gone deep enough and it's way easier than in your cytology even you don't need more oil and you can see it on low the lowest power I usually look at the lowest power and the next one the red one and the yellow one you can see it on either one and there's two slides in there if we can go look at um, on both microscopes at some scabies. But scabies looks a little bit like an ear mite. Um, like this picture here, it's sort of big and fat and has several legs and Demodex looks like a cigar with legs. That's what people describe it as, like this here. Uh, if you'd like to collect a fruit and scrape away, you can. <laughs> Now we are going to read the skin scrape. You can see I'm on the 10x power right here. You can also see it on the low power. It's a little easier to see when you go yeah. power up. You can see there's two mites on this view. A little hard with the phone. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. I can't press it. <laughs> oh, 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 o